It's been a while since we've been shopping together, so I thought we would head in to Hobby Lobby and see what they have out now that all the Christmas stuff is put away. So let's go in and go shopping. You got a smile that makes the sun I usually just take a quick peek around this section of the store in the front. The last Hobby Lobby where I used to live didn't have this section, but it's kind of nice to have this. If you're looking for bigger pieces of furniture, they're usually marked down pretty good. And occasionally you can find the random home decor piece that's 30% off as well. Most of the stuff in this section usually isn't my normal decor style, but it is fun seeing if you can find hidden treasures. I did find these adorable canisters and they are so cute. I actually just bought some salt and pepper shakers with like the same texture from a high end store. And so I couldn't believe that these were there. Those would look so amazing on a kitchen counter. Let's start here. They were starting to get their spring decor out. That cutting board was 80, but keep in mind the spring stuff is 40% off. And then most of the other decor that we'll see today was 50% off. I'm always looking, trying to compare prices to like other stores where I could find these items. I love this black cutting board, $18, but again, 40% off. I love decorating with cutting boards in my kitchen. You can layer them with different textures, maybe one that has like half marble, half wood. I love those. I have quite a few cutting boards in my basement waiting for me to have my kitchen done. And they're just a fun decor item that you can actually use. So it's really nice. My home decor style is more contemporary, transitional with a few modern elements. So I don't love like farmhouse style, but I think Hobby Lobby has kind of grown over the past year and added some more of those contemporary modern pieces. So I always like going in here and kind of seeing if I can find those home decor pieces. And you just have to have a vision where if I took this item home, how would it look in my own house? with my own home decor style. For example, I found these end tables. They were real marble on top. This one was 45. I think these are adorable and they would totally go with my home style and not the normal thing that you would have seen from Hobby Lobby like two years ago. About $50 for those. I mean, you have to compare it to if you saw those at Target, they probably would be $90 or $100. So the prices here for these end tables are a really good deal. We will take a peek at the Valentine's Day stuff and St. Patrick's Day stuff, and they were getting Easter stuff out a little bit later. Just a quick peek at that stuff later. I want to more focus on all of the home decor items like in the middle sections and some of the new stuff that I'm seeing out lately. If you like to host parties or something, I mean, $20 originally on sale for 10. I loved these adorable measuring cups. I almost got them with the little hobnail detail. Oh my goodness, so adorable. And you could even have those sitting out on your counter and they would look so cute. I love a lot of Hobby Lobby's art prints. I love looking at their big oversized art. And then some of these smaller ones are nice. You could put them on a kitchen counter above your stove in a cabinet that you have displayed. So many places to add fun art prints. This vase right here, I love with the two-tone and that was originally 25, so 12.50 on sale. They have quite a few displays where they have the black items and I love decorating my home with like whites, creams, black, and light wood tones. So I'm always drawn to these black items. I love this base right here, originally 50 on sale for 25. 
Let me know in the comments below how you like to decorate your house. What kind of style do you like to decorate in? Whether it's traditional, modern, if you do like the farmhouse. I know everyone is different and the items that I may be drawn to, maybe you're not drawn to and you see some other things you like. So it's just fun to see how other people decorate their houses. This wooden vase was so cute. I obviously wouldn't put like real flowers with water in there, but some dried flowers or wheatgrass would look so adorable in there. I really loved this cute little vase, or you could use it as a knickknack piece. $23 originally, but it was 50% off. So I love finding little things like that. They can just add a nice little touch if you have a bigger decor item and kind of layering things together. I am always drawn to abstract art or landscape art. Those are, I think, my two favorites. So I always love to look at the pictures that are landscape or abstract and think where I could use those in my own home. Another place for nice little pictures like that are bathrooms. They can just make it look so cozy and inviting. I liked this little section with the blues and the golds. I love adding gold touches to my home as well. This tray was so adorable. You could have that in a bedroom for like jewelry or you could put it on a bookshelf. I loved it. Originally 24, so it was on sale for 12, which I thought was a great deal. They had a lot of candlesticks out. I feel like that style is very popular and we'll see some more soon. This gold basket would be adorable on a countertop for your fruit and veggies. I just love adding these kind of more modern touches to my home. If you can add modern and vintage pieces to your home, it really gives it a nice flow. This gold wastebasket would be cute for an office or a kid's room or even in your laundry room. You could put a little bag in there and add like all the lint from your dryer in there as well. So I thought those were super cute. And again, not something you would have seen from Hobby Lobby quite a few years ago. So I love that they're incorporating some of that stuff into their decor now. A lot of times they'll have various sizes of things and I like to look and compare them. So the smaller base there was 32 and then the larger one was 39. So if you're trying to decide between different sizes like these candlesticks as well, it's kind of nice to see the different prices. So we have about $11, $13 and then $15 for those. So if you're doing something where you need to compare the prices on the sizes, it's nice to see, hey, this big bigger one might only cost me $5 more or the bigger one is $10 more and that's not worth it to me. So just something to think about. I have seen a lot of black candlesticks floating around the internet and home decor lately popping up a little bit more. So I thought these were so unique and adorable. $14, but 50% off, $7 is pretty good for that. I mean, you can definitely see that in a crate and barrel store and it would be a lot more than that. These black tall candlesticks have been so popular lately. This one is $22, but again, it's 50% off. So that is pretty good. You can get various sizes. Having them on a mantle would look amazing with some tall tapered candles. Everything. 
This dough bowl was $25 on sale. I love these. You can just go different directions with your decor style. You could put something in there and make it more modern or make it more farmhouse or cozy. You can just go so many ways with that. This black tray with the beaded handles I thought would be so cute on a coffee table, $14 on sale. And then I also loved this vase right here. Definitely something you'd see from like Studio McGee at Target. And originally the price is $76. So at first I was like, wow, that is crazy. But keep in mind, it is 50% off. And if you saw something like that on West Elm or Crate and Barrel, it is going to be at least twice the price. And if you did see that vase at Target, it probably would be around that $35, $40 mark as well. So just something to keep in mind when you look at the price and at first get some sticker shock. I saw this mug out of the corner of my eye, $6 because it is on sale. I thought that was just a unique design. And for an afternoon, a cup of coffee or tea is just so cute. And I love getting like a few of them. If you have like an open display cabinet in your kitchen, they would look so adorable in there. Looking at this vase, I am like so tempted to go back and get it. And this smaller one was 32, it was 50% off. And I actually really liked the bigger one. I think that would be cute really anywhere on your home, but like on a dining table, on a coffee table or end table with some beautiful flowers on there would look so amazing. I thought this was just a fun piece. So $12.50 on sale, which is a pretty good deal. $10 for this one on the left and then the slightly bigger one on the right is $13 because everything here was 50% off. So this one right here, I was a little bit surprised. It was originally 50, so 25 right now. I love that dark color of base and then the bubbles inside. I just think it's such a fun design. I really liked this light green color. It's such a beautiful color for springtime. $13 for that. You could easily take off a vase on your coffee table or end table and switch it out with that beautiful green color for springtime and just give it a whole different vibe in that room. I really love how they have their displays set up. It would actually be really fun to go and decorate those for them. Um, maybe I should work there one day. I always said I would love to work in like a design shop or something, but um, it just gives you some ideas on how you can put different colors together or different objects together. Like they have those birds right there with then the greenery and the bowl. I just love how they had these set up. 
I love seeing like all the utensil holders and mugs and cracks, all these fun things that they have put together. And it must be time for me to get a new mug because I seem to be fascinated by them. I love getting new coffee cups. It's so much fun. That one right there would have been $6.50 on sale. And then I love this beaded bowl. This is so adorable on a kitchen counter with maybe just some bananas or a little, some apples in it or lemons would be adorable. I really loved this abstract art here at the bottom, something that I could use really anywhere in my home, which is nice when you find those pieces that are versatile. And this little knickknack thing right there was $11. I thought it was fun. I have a glass display cabinet and it would be fun to put that like on a stack of books. I liked these blue little vases. This one was $7. So nice to put some fresh flowers in there during the springtime if you have some flowers in your yard to just cut and put in there with a little bit of water. This white vase right here would have been $16 because it was on sale. I always think too, you know, what is something that I love now and love the shape of and love the color of, but then maybe in the future, like if you kind of get tired of it, you can always spray paint things. So that little cute vase in black would be adorable. This basket right here, I really loved. I love using baskets for all my storage things, like any of my YouTube supplies, like my microphone or, or a remote for my camera. I love putting things in those type of baskets. This section right here was more in the back middle of the store where you see all the larger art displays and like pillows and things like that. So if you see something you like, that is where it is in my store. And sometimes I find something I really like in this section. So I just wanted to show you some of the things. I loved that art print. It was so pretty. That would look nice above a couch or above a fireplace if you don't have like a TV there. It just looks so beautiful. They still do have these beautiful mirrors that we all love and they were 50% off. That is definitely the time to grab these up if you like them. I recently saw a picture of a big one like this in someone's front entryway, like on their stairway going up their stairs. And I thought that was just a great idea. So that one was originally $5.50. So 50% off would make that $2.75, which is a really good deal for that size of mirror. You can't really find that many other places, even like Wayfair. I just bought some mirrors for our bedroom, which I am doing a makeover on that soon. Even those were this size of a mirror and they were over 200. So, you know, when you can grab those for 50% off, it's such a steal.
I loved the texture of this and it was part of the spring collection. So normally $20, but it is 40% off right now. Home Goods is another place that I love to go get baskets like these. So I do pay attention to how much these are versus how much I can get them for at Home Goods. Now, this one was really cute with that woven look, even to have like on your fireplace or your living room. And then I thought this one with the fun colors would be adorable in a kid's playroom or a kid's bedroom. I'm always drawn to these utensils that are like the wooden and black, wooden and white, and I really love the gold ones too. So I just think they can make your kitchen look completely different when you have these like on a crack on your countertop and that nice mix of like black and wooden is sticking out. We are gonna just take a quick peek at the Valentine's Day stuff. I don't normally decorate for Valentine's, so I'm just gonna show you a few things that could be very neutral and versatile. Like this one, having some like Hershey Kisses in there on your countertop, like that would be super cute. I also saw these, if you have a dog or a cat, I thought these would be cute little food bowls and water dishes for them to have out. 50% off, they're about 450 each, so kinda cute if you like to do something like that. We're just gonna go fairly quickly through these aisles right here. If you see something you like, feel free to pause the video so you can see it a little bit better. But again, I just don't usually decorate for Valentine's. I like to put my money where I can use things all year round. But if you do like to decorate for Valentine's Day, I bet your house looks so cute, especially if you have little kids and they love seeing stuff like that. I admit my daughter would love these wooden in things and she would love to paint them. So <laughs> that is something to keep in mind. They did have St. Patrick's Day stuff out. Again, not a holiday that I really put stuff out for. So I'll just show you it really quick. But I love that they do have these options. So if you do like to decorate for these holidays, Hobby Lobby is a good place to go because they have quite a variety. My store was just starting to get their Easter stuff out, so not a lot to see yet, but I thought I'd show you a little sneak peek of what they're working on here. One thing that I did love and I plan on doing some organizing soon coming up for springtime, they had a bunch of these containers and jars in different sizes. I like the ones with like, they have the black lid and the bamboo lid. I love those huge ones like dog food or cat food in there if you need a cute place to store it. And then they had a ton of these clear containers for organization, which I absolutely love using these. And they were on sale. So if you can get them on sale, they might even be a better price than Amazon. So I always just double check and make sure which one is the best deal. But I'm going to show you some of these organization things. Like this is part of the spring collection. So this one was normally 17, but it's 40% off. And this one comes with a few different containers. So that's really nice. You can use them in different places. I do love to use things like this in my fridge to organize things like yogurts or they do have an egg container or your vegetables can be put in one. I actually do have like a little Lazy Susan thing in my refrigerator and it's just nice to be able to spin things around. So I love seeing what they have and it kind of gave me some ideas. I do plan on doing some organizing videos coming up the next few months. I need to get my house in order. I don't know if you do, but I do plan on getting some things and working on them and sharing them with you. This was a vegetable crisper. So I thought that was neat that like Hobby Lobby had things like this. One of my favorite things are these baskets. I use them everywhere. Like we even used them when my kids were small for their dirty laundry. They were just like the perfect size for their little cute clothes and they didn't take up much room. They had a ton of colors, including a really pretty green color that I like. And again, part of the spring collection, so they're on sale, which is great. 
I wanted to see the price on this one and I could not get it out for the life of me. They were stuck in there really good. <laughs> so this one I love and I actually may go back and get, I'm gonna do a bathroom organization soon. And this is perfect for all your bathroom stuff. So I'm gonna leave you with this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. And of course, I will see you back here soon.